Reporting is a very important part of your platform and it's a huge way that you can hold your team accountable. Now every night you will get what's called a progress report and I'm going to show you how to set that up now, how to add new people to get the progress report, but also to drill down a little bit further into other usage reports. So holding your people accountable to daily training, what we recommend is 15 to 20 minutes first thing in the morning, before distractions get in the way, before excuses get in the way. Training needs to be just as important as turning on the lights, turning on the computers, doing the daily remittance and taking the deposits to the bank. All of those are crucial to every day. Well, so should training with CWC. First thing in the morning, before things get really busy and those distractions or excuses come up, right? But if you wanted to drill down further and look at the usage reports for a specific day, week, month, or even from the beginning of time since your platform was created, you can do so. But let's first start with the progress reports. So in the menu, up here in the menu, we're going to go to reports and watchdogs. What an interesting name, watchdogs. Now, progress report is here. You'll see that there's other reports that you can set up, but the progress report is one that we activate uh, on your behalf. Now, you see this settings button here. If I click on settings for the progress report, I have chosen to receive this daily at 10 p.m. Pacific. I could choose any other time that I want. Right now, this one's only coming to me, but I could say maybe add a manager. So Lauren M. Puckett at gmail.com, right? I could add her as a manager to see all teams. Check this out. I could also put my cell phone number in here and get a text message. How cool is that? Save settings and now the progress report has refreshed. It's showing for the current day, this current 24 hours. If you wanted to go back and look at at all time or go back a few months, I could change that date range and click on change report and it'll show me how many were passed, failed, in progress, or total. Um, I can click send report and it's going to send that report to myself, my wife, and my text. Okay, so all of this um, is all right here in the progress report and it shows the number of courses, excuse me, chapters, videos that your staff have passed failed or are in progress along with their total and unique past. Why do you want to look at this? Not just to make sure that they're getting through a few chapters every morning, but to make sure that they're paying attention. On maybe 60 or 70 percent or so of the staff content, there's little quizzes after each chapter. They're not that difficult. If your staff are failing quizzes, that means that they're not paying attention well enough to the videos. So then they have to watch that three, four, five minute, maybe even longer video again to then take the test again. So have a conversation with them about paying attention, putting this phone down. Snapchat can wait. All right. Put the phone down. Pay attention. Learn from your peers. So watch that failure rate. If there's lots of failing going on, they're not paying attention. Now, other reports, menu, reports. My usage report will show you your usage. By the way, all of your staff have access to their usage report. So they can look and see what you see when you go into usage reports. So I'm going to click on usage reports here. And this is for a specific time range, a date range. It's for the current month. I can click on filter report and change that to be any specific date range. So I'm just going to go back to August our launch day was August 1st of 2017. I'm going to click on go and let's see here. So we've had 894 sign on. So this is the admin portal that I, my wife, Stephanie, you know, we all um, access the admin portal to set up new users and stuff. So I can scroll down and look at the total chapters completed, the past chapters, because we kind of go through and do little tests here. You can see all this date range. You're like, wow, this is a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff here. Check this out. Let's see if I want to see exactly what training activity was going on. I can go down here and click on this number. See how they're hyperlinked? Total. And all of a sudden, I can look to see what user, what it was. I can sort by users. 
I can sort by chapters. I can sort by the date and time um, to see when things were completed. How cool is that, right? I can export this to PDF or Excel so I can further it sort, sort it. Not bad. So I'm just clicking this back here to go back to the Usage Reports dashboard. It still has my date range selected so I can look and see the sign-ins, what day and time did they sign in, right? Maybe you're telling people to log in and, and knock it out first thing in the morning. Well, we can look and see what day and time that they signed in. Um, so lots of great things here in the Usage Reports. What they were watching and training activity, what did their summaries look like each day? When did they sign in and how many times? All here in the usage report. So again, menu, reports, usage reports. For this complete one, and then for the watchdogs, those progress reports, if you want to add somebody else to receive that, maybe others on your team, uh, menu, reports, watchdogs, progress report, settings. Um, I don't know if there's a limit. I don't, I don't know if there's a limit. I don't think so. So I guess you can add as many email addresses and cell phone numbers as you want, I imagine, and then click on save. Now, so I don't annoy her, I'm going to do that and save. There we go. That's more information about your user and usage reports on the CWC On Demand platform.